So we're three weeks into Movember. You've probably seen it maybe around your office, uh, maybe your husband. Uh, guys growing out facial hair to raise awareness for men's health. And while No Shave November and Movember are a little different, they both help to raise awareness and money for good causes. Now, the Movember movement specifically started in Australia 2003, and it focuses specifically on men's, uh, men's health, and it's all about the mustache. Joining me now is Ray Nicoli. I hope I got that last name right. Yep. Uh, he's a Mobro, as they're called. Let's talk about how long you've been a part of this movement and how you got involved. So it's been five years now. I started, and uh, a, a friend of mine just showed me a picture of one of his old shots with his mustache, and I was just amazed what the hell he was doing with that, because <laughs> it was fabulous. And uh, so the next year I grew and just had a lot of fun and didn't raise any money that first year. It was purely about sitting down at Thanksgiving dinner with the family, having people look at me with this three-week-old mustache going, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? And, and specifically for you guys, you start this, it starts at the beginning of the month, yep. you shave clean, and then boom, it's just the stash, yep. beard, hair, everything else is just kind of, and eh, no big deal. This is all about right. the mustache. Absolutely, it's all about the mustache. You're not supposed to connect under the chin because that would be a goatee, and you're not supposed <laughs> to chin connect. Well, there the, are rules. There are, there's, there's a few <laughs> rules. They're pretty simple, but... Uh, you know, it's it's don't connect it to sideburns because that would be a beard. For me, that's easy. I get a lot of right. leeway, you know. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's about growing a mustache and making it look like a mustache because those first two weeks are pretty pretty awful for most people. Right. And and it gets attention. And it's about getting people to ask you why you're doing it. Starting so the conversation. Starting the conversation. Your face is the billboard. And I've gotten people... Uh, talking to me at bus stops. Going, I wear a button that says, ask me about my mustache. <laughs> and, and I've had strangers go, okay, what's up with the mustache? <laughs> well, and, and it is, you, you start the conversation and then you get into men's health. Right, I mean, exactly. uh, No Shave November is a little bit different. I think that one focuses on uh, cancer um, for all, all cancer patients right. because they tend to, you know, they lose their hair often. So it's about giving up the, the shaving or cutting your hair and all the right. products, saving that money and donating instead. Whereas Movember is specifically about men's health, prostate cancer. And I think you told me it started with prostate cancer. Yeah, it started in 2003 with prostate cancer, then went to testicular cancer, um, and then they added men's mental health because uh, the suicide rate in men is significantly higher than in females. And, and then this last year they introduced um, physical activity. So we're, we're trying to get people to move. And, and get out of their sedentary ways. Well, I know that you are, and we don't have a picture of it, but you were Mr. November in the Sexy Men of Technology calendar. <laughs> um, and you can still buy all yes. the proceeds of that yes. go to Movember, as I understand That's it. Where do yep. you get that? So you can either go to sexymenoftechnology.com or you can go to smot.co. So those will both lead you to that. And it's an it's a easy way to get to the webpage for getting the calendar. Um, we had a lot of fun in New York getting those pictures taken and uh, it's it's about raising awareness and and starting these conversations I've got since I've started doing this I've learned more and more of my friends from college have only one testicle now and because they have you know they went through this and um, other family members have had prostate cancer and survived and so well, it's about starting starting the conversation raising money raising awareness and you, you've certainly done your part appreciate you coming in today thank you thank you so much